Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Karen Palka, and I'll be speaking with Cliff Thomason. Today's show is sponsored by Women's Life Insurance Society. Welcome, Cliff, to Spotlight. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for having me here. Uh, we, we love having you here. And one of the things that I want to really dive into is something you started a little over five years ago, and it's the athletic factory. Yeah. You know, are you making equipment for athletic? You know, what? tell us about the athletic that's a factory. Good, uh, that's a good point. Um, no, what we do is we really focus on student athletes. Okay. Um, providing opportunities to them to improve their skill set but more importantly, um, their educational journey. Um, you know, because we, we want kids to understand that they're students that have to be athletes, not the other way around. Okay. Um, so it's important that if you're willing to put the work in to, you know, be excellent at your skill set in your sport, whatever that sport might be, that you should have the same vigor and the same determination in the classroom. Okay. Yeah. So you, you help tutor students. Um, there's lots of different avenues that the Athletic Factory has to offer. And, and where are you located? So we're located at 1517 10th Street. Um, it is the Trinity Lutheran Church. They had a school. It's been closed for about 10 years now, so we've been there since 2020, at least in the school side. And, you know, we do a variety of activities for the kids, you know. Um, obviously, our pillar is basketball. Uh, we do basketball skill development. But we do sports specific training like lateral quickness, first step acceleration, vertical jump training, um, things like that for all sports. Um, you know, two of my um, tennis players that are from Port Here Northern, I've been training for uh, about a year, year and about two months now. Okay. You know, with lateral quickness, swing velocity. So a lot of times people can think Athletic Factory, if they know us, is just basketball, but we're multifaceted. And that's, uh, your gym is beautiful. Thank a brand you. new gym, uh, reconditioned with a great sponsor. But we're here to talk about something that's new, something that the community does not have anywhere. And I find it fascinating because we have to stay up with the times. Mm -hmm. And e-sports, you know, the whole idea of e, electronic sports, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about what e-sports is at the Athletic Factory. Yeah, so we wanted to make sure that we can um, connect with the kids who don't like to throw a ball mm -hmm. or don't like to catch, mm -hmm. don't like to, you know, play those type of sports, traditional sports. Um, but they love playing video gaming. And I think what people take for granted is that when you play high-end video games, it helps you with critical thinking and problem solving. Mm -hmm. um, but we also find that those kids are, have a very high IQ. Um, oh. But they like to be challenged in their mind versus their physicality of their bodies. Okay. Um, so a lot of those, a lot of those games are thought-provoking. It, it, it takes strategy. Um, but eSports, we thought about, you know, how can we connect with these kids who maybe feel like they're forgotten about? Mm -hmm. So we created eSports, um, finding it's a trend, right? Mm -hmm. Universities are now offering, you know, um, club sports and also uh, varsity scholarships. Oh, really? That you can get at for to play eSports and be on those teams at the university. Oh, I right didn't now. even know that they had that. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. And so students in the community can come to the athletic factory and just kind of like as a drop in. It, are they are there curriculum courses? That's a good question. So um, we have tryouts. We're currently in our tryouts right now. Okay. Uh, we had our first tryout day yesterday. We'll have one on the 11th and on the 16th. Um, and so it's for fifth grade all the way up to 12th. 12th grade okay and you can come as an individual player or if you have a team already formed you can come bring that team over to the athletic factory um, to be one of our teams we're looking to do five about five teams okay. three to six players per team okay um, and how long is that session uh, so the session will probably be about six weeks okay and what we want is we want the students to have creative um, input mm -hmm. on the type of tournaments type of games um, obviously, we have a list of games already, you know, that are popular, you know, Fortnite, um, Valiant, uh, Mario Kart, um, we have Counter-Strike, you know, uh, a lot of different variety of games, 2K, um, Madden. So we, what we want is instead of pre-picking what the kids should play, we want the kids to kind of have that input on the, the games that they want to play as a team. Okay. So that gives them ownership also. And then that would also direct us on what tournaments we should play in. Okay. The difference with eSports is that you, 
each team is only going to really specialize in a game. Okay. Right? You're not going to have one team playing five different games. Okay. Um, That's good. It's yeah. kind of keeping them in a lane. Exactly. So if they like Rocket League, they'll have a team with Rocket League and they'll compete against other teams that play Rocket League. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a structured environment. And then what we'll do is we'll sprinkle in our curriculum, you know, teach okay. them coding, programming, um, cybersecurity, oh, AI. Oh, that's big. You mm -hmm. know, because it's it's a it's a, a avenue that is really kids don't understand that you can actually create a profession, you know, to the, do this also. The cybersecurity for sure. We Absolutely. need more people and all of that. So what about the adults that want to get a little bit better at maybe Mario Kart mm -hmm. so that we can compete with our own children? Right. Is there anything like for us adults? <laughs> Not yet. That okay. might come in the future. That but would the, be kind of fun. I'd be yeah. interested in a Mario Kart lesson. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe later on we'll, we'll focus on um, young adults to adults because um, mm -hmm. I know there's probably some you know, kids that just graduated from high school or in college who would like to get involved too. For sure. I think the focus is a, it's a younger kids first, get a system really um, you know, robust, and then maybe we'll look at branching off. But our focus right now is just the, the youngins. Well, this is really great. And so how can people find out information about that? Absolutely. They can go to our website at www.theathleticfactory.org. Um, my number is everywhere, mm -hmm. so if they want to call and find out. Um, if you go to our website, there's an eSports button you can push, and it give you some more details okay. um, about what we're doing right now. Well, this is really great. Thank you for doing what you do in the community and really having our athletes be students first. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on Spotlight.